In this quick video, I'm going to talk about back button focus, what it is and why I recommend you use it. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up. So let's start with what is back button focus. Normally when you're using your camera, whether that be a DSLR or mirrorless one like I have here, my Fuji, when you press the shutter button on top of the camera is when you're going to take a picture. But it also serves to initiate the focusing of the camera. So when you push the shutter button halfway down, your camera will initiate or engage the autofocus. When you're using something called back button focus, you're separating the functions between two different buttons. So when you customize your camera, the shutter button then is still in charge of taking the picture, but then you're using one on the back. For me, I can use this one or even push in the dial so that when I push the back with my thumb like this, this one focuses and this one takes the picture with my index finger. The benefits of doing that are multifold. First of all, if you're shooting something that is a moving subject, so let's say you're photographing your dog running in the park and the dog is running towards you. You call the dog and the dog is running towards you quickly. You're using continuous focus. So on my Fuji, that would be the little C here. So I'm gonna change it to C down the bottom here. So if you're using continuous focus, when you press the shutter button halfway down, the camera will continue to track and focus on the dog as it moves towards you. Okay. The problem lies in when you push the button all the way down. So once you push the shutter button all the way down, this button can only control one function of the camera at a time. So then it's engaging the taking the picture motion or action and disengaging the focus. So as the dog runs more towards you, you'll get a few shots that are sharp and then a few that are out of focus as it goes out of that focal range. To solve that problem, when you switch it to back button focus, you can now do both at the same time. So you can press the back button to continually focus and the shutter button to continually shoot. So the camera can be both focusing and shooting at the same time. That's one advantage. Another advantage is focus and recompose. So if you've ever done that where you press the shutter button halfway down and then move your composition how you want it and then press the button all the way to take the shot, you have to do that every single time. So if you're photographing the same object and it's not moving and you're staying in the same spot, you can use back button focus to then lock focus on the subject and just shoot away. It does take a little bit of practice to get used to using back button focus and setting it up can be a little tricky depending on your camera. To do it on a Fuji, I literally just have to switch to manual and the back button here is automatically engaged. The AFL button becomes my focus button and the shutter button is disengaged. However, if I wanna use continuous focus, I have to go into the menu and set that up. So if you're using Canon or Nikon, Olympus, Sony, Pentax, or something else, just do a search for your camera make and model and how to set up back button focus, and you should be able to find a resource to help you. So try back button focus, set your camera up, and then go out and practice photographing something that's not really important. So just practice in your backyard or go for a walk and just take pictures, getting used to using that back button and your thumb to focus instead of your index finger. Takes a little while, but once you get used to it, I'm sure that you will find it really helpful and you'll never go back. I learned this tip from a newspaper photographer who photographs sports, and that's how they use their cameras. So don't be afraid to try something new and learn from another genre of photography to incorporate into your work. Until next time, take care and keep practicing.